uh, dear students so today we will talk about chapter number nine which is about telling the truth with data visualization uh, in this chapter we have a few learning objectives which is related to missing data and errors in excel file uh, we will also see the bias data we will also see about the simsing paradox and how it affects the results and uh, we will also see that how time series uh, inflations can be visualized and then we will uh, see some of the um, insights with respect to the dual axis charts and uh, and the range of temporal frequencies and and also the last but not the least the geographic maps here you can see the data visualization makeover that uh, how the difference in the change of the movie price from 0 0.53 dollars to 9.37 dollars mm, so the here in these two uh, graphs uh, in one of the graph on the left hand side we can see that the visualization is more effective and it can be easily seen that uh, the time 17.7 times more is expensive so here we take an example of uh, missing data that how when we have a missing data so how it affects uh, our results so in this one uh, there is a very uh, good example that to find in the excel that how you can count the the blanks in case if you are blank so there is a one example if i i would like to circle for you in excel sheet if you like you know apply this formula it will calculate all the blanks but you need to select only the data not the empty spaces but if there's any empty spaces in between like this one so it will calculate for you if you have like for example two empty spaces the total answer would be two if you have three empty spaces the total spaces would be uh, three moreover in case if you want to like you know make it a different colors it's also possible uh, for that you need to uh, go to the uh, conditional formatting okay in the conditional formatting uh, you can select some colors over there and you can select for the uh, format only cells and after that one uh, you can for example if you selected the yellow colors it could be uh, considered as a yellow the blanks so this is very interesting feature of the excel and uh, you can count the blanks and you can even color the blanks uh, so we have like you know uh, two kinds of um, errors one is extreme errors when you have errors in the uh, statistics like mean value minimum value maximum values and variance and, and uh, standard deviation and some are non-extreme values like errors for example uh, which we call as outliers or which we call uh, uh, anomalies right so so this is one cluster so these these two points are out of the cluster so these are called non-extreme errors we have two kind of bias data in case uh, uh, the in case if we we are like you know taking mistake in selection of the data if our data is not random in that case we can have two um, uh, big problems the first one is called the selection bias in which we in which we select the data which is not uh, a true representation of the whole population and the second is called the Simpson uh, uh, paradox, uh, paradox in that one the results of the whole uh, population is different than the results or the individual subset of the sample so in that case uh, that is also one of the most important factors uh, in the in the bias data second one is called survivor bias data and this is inspired from the world war ii uh, aircraft hitting and uh, so there was one mathematician uh, he uh, like you know he opposed that uh, that idea and he said that the armor should uh, should be connected to the part which is least hit uh, in the war so uh, in generally uh, sometime we uh, we apply uh, our results or conclusion uh, to only the successful uh, cases we are not we are not looking to the unsuccessful cases so that is also a point so the scientist the mathematician who pointed that point is that we should also look at the aircraft which were like you know crashed okay so why are we not like looking to that aircraft so this is one of the example here this example is very interesting and here you can see that uh, uh, if we have like you know if we divide this uh, this data here uh, uh, the regression is on the reverse or uh, reverse order while here you can see if we divide into three parts the regression is is positive but here the regression is on the negative side right so this the data is same that that is this kind of uh, like you know output is called a simpson paradox yeah this is the origin of the survivors in this case like you know uh, 
um, like uh, the when the data was examined in the World War II plans, it showed that consistent damage to the indicated areas. So the initial suggestion was to armor the tails and wings. But uh, according to the mathematician Abraham Wald, he argued and he he corrected the action uh, that uh, it should be the opposite because the damage to the tails and wings were least harmful to the aircraft. So armor should be added uh, instead to the areas not showing damage. And this one, if you see over here, like uh, here, uh, this was survivor bias. So in this case, uh, we have uh, we are like more focusing on the um, on the uh, entrepreneurs, okay, and we are uh, focusing on the non-entrepreneurs. But here, uh, we have like you know all the cases, like a hundred cases, which is in the control environment. We should also look at the failure cases as well. So. Um, uh, when they say that uh, the result of the survey that measure the tolerance to take and financial risk is 87 percent entrepreneur so which is which is not realistic why because uh, we compare to the control group of 100 random selected non entrepreneurs so this this uh, uh, this like mistake should not be repeated in a in a statistical and we call as a statistical fallacies yeah this is one of the another example for inflation to uh, uh, to show in a um, in a time series one so here you can see that how we can represent uh, uh, the inflations, uh, inflation adjusted price with respect to the natural gas price. Uh, this example is very interesting. Here you can see that uh, um, although uh, this will look, you will see that there is a high, huge difference, but the scale is like you know very uh, zoomed in, right? While here uh, the difference is uh, here you see the very less difference. Why? But here. The scale is very uh, elaborated, and there are a lot. Of the, so the main point is that uh, we should not decide, or we should not act uh, as per the scale. So we should look closely how is the difference. So although these two are the same uh, graph, hidden inside. So if you see over here, also uh, the these two are the same graphs, but here we cannot have any decision. We cannot do any decision. The inside is hidden over here, but here is the inside is clear. So what is the reason over here? Here you can see over here the scale is um, larger, right? And here scale is zoomed in. Uh, what about this one uh, incorrect um, aspect ratio? So here you can also see uh, the incorrect aspect ratio and uh, the differences. So here the difference is that here the scale the scale is uh, squeezed, uh, but here the scale is like you know more elongated. Uh, deceptive design so in, in that one also deceptive design means uh, yeah the most important thing is that uh, here you have like you know two uh, x x the two y axis right and here and here you have only single y axis so this is also a deceptive design and it should also be avoided to not to give a wrong um, uh, story to the to the audience remedy is that just split it right so if you split this two into the one that is more uh, better Temporal frequency. Temporal means when when frequency is, is related to uh, to the time. So we call it the temporal frequency. And here you can see that uh, sometime uh, the first one is when plotting the share price with daily temporal frequency. Peaks and valleys are evident. So you know that where is the peak and where is the. Uh, so this is like for example peak and this is valley, right? And the second one when plotting the share price with the bimonthly. So this is bimonthly. Uh, temporal frequency data appears smooth. So in this one, the data is a bit more smoother. Now, the last but not the least most important thing is that uh, uh, the poverty rate by state is more better uh, in uh, uh, choropleth map for communicating which states have the highest number of people living in poverty re relative to the overall state of population. So in this one, uh, this one, like, you know, uh, one of the... Uh, this one is like uh, giving more information with respect to this chart. This is one activity for you. Uh, check your knowledge and give answer and give us uh, your answer in the in the comment. So to summarize all the chapters, so what we we uh, studied in this chapter, we identify the missing data, uh, missing air data errors in Excel. Uh, bias data is uh, may mislead insight from the data visualization and how to identify it. 
uh, to adjust the inflation when dealing with the time series data have been collected over the long time period. Uh, different ranges also, we also talk about the remedy for dual axis. We also talk about uh, selection and frequency, uh, the temporal data for time series, and, uh, and to prevent the misleading audience when using the geographic maps. So thank you very much. See you in the next class.